Amazon changed the way we shop online and stream video. The Wall Street Journal reports the world's biggest retailer wants to shake up our run to the grocery store by expanding its private label brand. So you'll soon be able to buy Amazon generic items like nuts, coffee, and baby food, and everyday essentials like diapers and detergent. So we reached out to Amazon, and they had no comment about this. CBS News financial contributor Melody Hobson is with us at the table to dissect. Melody, good morning. Good morning. You know, there have been jokes all out there in the ether about it's the Jeff Bezos' world domination plan to take over the world. Mm -hmm. Does that surprise you? No, not is, at all. I think that's actually true. <laughs> this is and he's going move. just one product at a time. But why this area now? Because it's huge. $118 billion in private label goods were sold last year. That was up $2 billion from the year before before, expect it to grow again this year. They've been in the space. Mm -hmm. They've had Amazon basics with things like mouse pads and, yeah. and cell phone cases. And then they moved into clothing and jumped to number two yeah. as the clothing retailer in America behind Macy's, largely driven by their private label clothes. And they've been doing this privately. In February, apparently, they rolled out seven private labels already. What do you think is the short-term goal, the long-term goal? How quickly could they gain, you know, a large audience with these goods? Well, I think they can gain a large audience very, very yeah. fast. I think it's interesting that they're only making these goods available to Amazon Prime users. Mm -hmm. Those are the people who pay $99 a year to get all of these special benefits. <laughs> so they get this special value, so it'll drive the Prime customer. So reportedly, there are more than 50 million of them, so you can get traction very, very fast. And I would imagine we'll just see, we'll just see concentric circles of product expansion. Aren't you this, Amazon Prime, Charlie? Yes. Yeah, that's oh, right I am though. too. I'm yeah. also Jeff oh, yeah. Bezos Prime. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh. This is simply one more example of what scale can do for you. That is for sure. And everyone's saying, well, what about the competition? I said, what about the vendors, mm -hmm. the people who supply to them mm -hmm. these dominant brands of nuts or cereal mm -hmm. or oatmeal or whatever it is? They're coming into their category without having that marketing expense and with this installed customer base. The loyalty is to Amazon, not even to the brands anymore. Why Think won't Amazon? And, and that's, that's what drove Walmart to growth, too, mm -hmm. that kind of scale. Well, so it feels like Walmart 2.0 for uh, sure. Exactly. Here, here would be my pushback on this, though. What? You know, as a mother, I like Tide brand, okay? I like a certain kind of Tide brand. In terms of cereal, we like Honey Nut Cheerios, a certain brand. You can't just make a generic brand of some of those. We have brand loyalty. Well, however, there's two answers to that. One is this, these are not your grandmother's generics. Yeah. Don't think the ketchup and the yeah. soda where you're like, ugh, terrible. Yeah. They're, they're <laughs> going for products that you won't know the difference. Again, yeah. your kids don't know the brand of oatmeal you use. Yeah. I mean, you probably use Quaker Oats, but maybe mm -hmm. not. And so they won't be able to taste that difference. The other thing that is inter that's interesting, millennials don't care that much. Mm. They're not as brand Millennials brand don't care about They're brand, not as brand, brand loyal. loyal. Right. Why won't Amazon comment on it? It's interesting to me that we reach out and they're saying we're not talking about it. You would think that they'd want to talk about something that seems to be going so well. Well, I think it's about the vendors. Again, they're, they're starting oh, to take market share away mm -hmm. from people who supply to them. That was something that made mm -hmm. a lot of vendors not very popular with Walmart. And so I think they're trying to do it in a quiet, low-key way, but it's happening. The, the train has left the station. The station. Yes, right. In an insurgent campaign, don't advertise your strategy as much, right? Well, a lot of people are doing that now. Yeah. The quiet rollout seems to be working. Mm -hmm. Always interesting, Melody Hobson. Thank you so much.